What's going on guys? Hope y'all are having a great day out there today. So today is Arts and Crafts Day. Um, I picked up a new body for the X-Max. It's the new, uh, or not new, but the rock and roll body. It's the only one they had in stock actually. But um, got the new body and I decided we're going to um, reinforce the body the proper way this time. It's more of the tried and true method. Um, I know this works pretty good. Um, I know Kevin Talbot and a lot of guys do this to all their bodies and uh, they seem to hold up pretty decent. Now, the last time with the first X-Max body I got, as you guys know, I tried the Flex Seal. However, as you can see, <laughs> it held up. It definitely helped, but um, she came apart pretty nasty. So, decided this time we are going to do the shoe glue and drywall tape. Also picked up a heat gun, a glue gun, um, to glue the stuff down to keep it in place while you're gluing it. But uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with the whole entire process of this. I'm going to kind of do it in some stages here. First, I'm going to take off um, all the plastic stuff on the inside and get it stripped down and get the inside cleaned out. And uh, then I'll bring you guys back once this thing is all stripped down and uh, ready to start laying the drywall tape. Also, guys, it was kind of exciting. The mailman showed up. Got a couple more receivers for the DX5 to throw in a couple of the cars. I think I'm going to put them probably in the two Cratons, um, I believe. And um, do go that route in... Uh, Get those two on the DX5. Um, the Outcast is still on the Dumbo, which I'm debating which direction I'm going to go with the speed car because I might put the Dumbo on that car because the Dumbos have pretty good uh, range. But uh, I'm going to test them both out and see what works. But anyway, guys, enough yakking. Let's go get our hands sticky. All right, guys. Well, we got her all stripped on. All the different plastic pieces on the inside are out of there. Now what I'm going to do next is put tape over top of all the holes up here um, so that the shoe goo doesn't run through and obviously stick on the outside of the body. So I'm going to tape up all the holes, and then I'm going to wipe down the inside of this uh, real good with some uh, brake parts cleaner to make sure it's all uh, grease-free and oil-free in there so the shoe goo has its best uh, chance to stick to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that part done and I'll bring you guys back when we're starting to lay the drywall tape. Okay guys, we got her all taped up. You know, I was debating on taping this on the inside or the outside, uh, but I don't want to put it on the inside just because it's going to, you know, cover up a space in there that's not going to be able to stick to anything and uh, reinforce around that hole. Now I know I'm going to have to probably ream out a lot of these holes with the body reamer to uh, bring them back to the normal size. However, I think it's going to stick better overall. Also, what I did, if you can see or notice here, on the holes on the top side with the divots that they sink inwards, I smushed that tape down in there really far so it filled that whole void in there so that doesn't get filled up with shoe goo. So I'm gonna give this a try. Hopefully it works out, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the inside of this thing out with some um, brake cleaner and get her cleaned up. And uh, I'll bring you guys back when we're putting the drywall tape in now. All right, guys. Well, we are getting it done. Learning along. This is the first time, honestly, I have uh, drywall taped and shoe gooed a body. I've tried other methods. I've tried the flex seal. I've tried the flex seal and uh, mesh tape. I've tried the flex seal um, alone. Different things, but uh, this is the first time doing this method, and uh, so far, it's coming along pretty good. Um, as you can see, I got a couple first couple passes laid down here. Anywhere that I'm having to cut around things, basically, I'm just cutting around it and then using the uh, hot glue gun here to make sure it's glued down and tacked down good around that area. So anywhere in there, like down through here, as you can see, you know, I cut there and there and then pushed this down in and then glued it. So keep all that stuff in place, but uh, I will bring you guys back when this thing is completely drywalled and I'll show you the final result here on how this went. <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, about an hour later, and um, the inside of it is completely coated with the sticky drywall tape. Um, I did lay down with the hot glue gun in places that were, uh, you know, the corners and places that dipped in a lot, their edges. Um, I hot glued them down. Burned my finger multiple times. It's a good time, guys. You should definitely try this. <laughs> I'm really hoping that this uh, holds up better than my other methods. I know everybody says that it does, but I'm hoping it's worth all of this work because I tell you what it's not an easy task really it's just time consuming and tedious so don't have anything planned for at least a few hours if you plan on doing this guys <laughs> but anyway enough of the complaining let's move on to the shoe goo part I got some rubber gloves here and uh, basically just going to squeeze this stuff out under your finger from what I've seen everybody else do and uh, just basically smear it into everywhere push it into the drywall tape and make sure it's bonded on that body and uh, 
see what happens, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'll bring you guys back whenever, kind of mid-process and seeing how it's going. All right, guys. Well, we got all the shugu in this thing. Um, used about, I think, five tubes on this thing total. Um, you can go probably more if you want to, uh, but it's got a pretty good coating in there. But uh, we're going to let this thing harden up and uh, see how she comes out and get everything back in there. Um, definitely should leave your doors open or do this outside or somewhere where it is ventilated because the fumes do get to be a little potent after a while. <laughs> after you get a lot of this body smeared, um, it does put off a little bit of fumes, but as it's drying just continue to push down anywhere that it might be still trying to push up uh, it'll get tackier as time goes on and just continue to make sure everything's molded in the good spots i'm no professional like i said guys this is my first time doing it i've seen it done but uh this is my first time trying it so it's got so far honestly it's coming out pretty good it is uh a little painstaking so i don't know to be honest with you if i will be doing this again <laughs> just because it does take a bit of time and honestly this is my theory on this so on all the supplies today i bought i mean this was all, granted this was buying the the heat gun or the, the glue gun and everything but i had 53 dollars in supplies to do this a new x max body cost 80 dollars. so if this thing holds up for a while maybe i will do it again but if i don't get at least twice the amount of lifetime out of this body after doing this honestly it's not worth the time and money to do this on every body so time will tell i'm not uh, ruling it out just yet but there is some money and time involved in doing this so if it doesn't pay off i'm not going to worry about it and uh We'll just get the bodies and break them and replace them as they go. But uh, worth a try. Definitely worth a try, guys. So I'll bring you guys back when this is all set up and back together. All right, guys. Well, she is all back together again. Got all the roof skids, all the body supports and lockings, mechanisms, and everything all back in this thing. Um, all in all, it didn't come out too bad. There's a few spots where the edges kind of wouldn't seal down really tight to the body. But um, all in all, she came out pretty decent. Um, time will tell if it's worth it. Uh, you know, a lot of guys are telling me that it is definitely worth it. You know, it's helped their bodies immensely. Um, so I'm just kind of curious to see if this is worth the time, the money. Uh, you know, because basically doing a body this size with a shoe goo, um, I went to my local Lowe's and picked up a shoe goo in the drywall tape. And, you know, like I said, I had around $45, um, no, about $40, I guess, in shoe goo and drywall tape. Um, and then I had another almost $20 for the glue gun. But, um, you know, now that's a, I have it. I don't have to purchase that again. But, um, you know, for smaller bodies, obviously, it would cost a little bit less. But my big thing is, is it worth it? Is it actually going to add life and time to this body? So time will tell. I'm curious to find out. But that will definitely be taken out in uh, finding out and giving it uh, a good workout, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you know, I honestly wasn't even going to do a video on this because I know, you know, it's been done, you know, numerous times out there. But I just figured I'd bring you guys along to uh, show you how I was doing it. And uh, maybe some of you haven't seen it yet done. So it's an idea. It's worth a try. But um, that is going to do it for this video today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. We will see you guys out there next time when we're putting this body to the test and not uh, having a little fun. So until next time, y'all, be safe. Be careful out there. Peace out, everybody.